Yes. Yes. I want to put the potatoes. You're putting the onions potatoes. between the potatoes. Yeah, between the them. onions, exactly. So. All right. I have, wait, wait, let me see. Let me try something. I uh, did something with my, my sound isn't working. Really? Yeah. Uh, let me uh, come out and come back in. Okay. Please. okay. Please don't take too long. So, okay, guys. So I want to put the, the white onions between and the potatoes, okay? Thank you. Thank you for the gift. Hi, Bradley. How are you, my friend? Everybody's miss me. I miss you too, guys. But, uh, you know, so I have a lot of things to work. So, you know, that things happen. So, look. Between and the onions. I'm um, sorry. I put the onions between in the potatoes. So, that things is going to be make me flavor. And in this recipe. Okay, so Cassim back is back. Okay, right here. So everything, production, everything. Production, production. Hello. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Joanne said Joanne says that her dad used to make potatoes just like that. Yes. Yeah, the potato like that. So I wanna use this pup. I want to put in the heat. So I want to use four spoon the butter, salty butter, okay. salty butter. I say right, salty butter. Yep. Yes, you did. Okay. Well, I want to use today measures in this recipe. Finally, I say good recipe. No you say recipe, recipe instead of receipt. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Four. So it's half, you're using half a stick of butter. This one. Yeah. I want to use stick. four spoon. Let me check the heat. That happens when you cook in electronic. My, yeah, my, uh, I use a electric stove too, and mine goes really quickly. It's a really good electric stove. Yeah, though. but uh, mine is no, it's no better. So, oh, okay. Gotcha. You know, for that reason, I'm trying to <laughs> do me things. So, you know, I, I want to add four spoon the butter. Yes. We have to be careful with the butter because I don't want the butter burning. So, because I want this cream, creamy, sublime, the texture is sublime. Okay. So, now, when I'm over there, you see them? So, okay. okay. So, let me put over here. So, tata. Tell me, Cass. You have a news for us? News about what? God, there's always something new going on with uh, with Food Talk TV. But I remember, we have foodtalktv.com. Yes, we have foodtalktv.com. Uh, you uh, please visit our website. You can learn more about our creators. Uh, you can see if you go to the tools page, uh, you can actually see the uh, things that we have curated from Amazon, so that you can buy those things. Uh, you can see our recipes at our blog called In the Kitchen. And I do believe that a couple of our creators, uh, Frank uh, Strana, he's our website manager, and Ashley Poe will be doing a podcast soon. Uh, just like just like Granny is going to be doing uh, uh, pay-per-view lives on Facebook. We have so many things that are going on. So many things that are going on. We've got yes. new creators that are coming on. The Chef God uh, it just joined us, and he's going to start being in people's boxes. He's al he, he already appeared with Frank uh, during his live on Sunday, and he was very good. Uh, we're waiting for Chef Bradley to start cooking. We can't wait till he's he, till he's better. We uh, we got some submissions uh, for other 
other creators as well. Uh, we yeah. have, we've got a line of people right now. So that's cheddar cheese, right? Yes, that's a cheddar cheese. I want to share it for myself. That's going to be for all recipe. Okay. All recipe. Recipe, recipe, recipe. <laughs> recipe, recipe, recipe. I just, I just joking, Cass. Ashton, <laughs> please help me out with Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so you've got yes, the I, it, you've got the butter melted. Then you're gonna put in the cheese. Yes, but I, I'm gonna make like a bechamel sauce. Okay. You know? All right. But it's gonna be different this one. So. So okay. are you going to? Let me you're share. gonna use uh, regular flour with the butter. Sorry. Say again, you're please. Good. You're, you're going to use uh, regular flour with the butter, right? Yes. Yes. So now, look this wonderful butter. Yes. So I, I want to add, yes, we have it here, two spoon the the flour. Okay. Okay. I want to add one first. All right. You have to be careful. I'm going to start streaming, okay? Sure. So like, it's, it's like a bechamel sauce, but it's different, okay? We look at this one. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is, she's making a cheese sauce, guys, which is, which is not a bechamel. Yes. But uh, it's the same method. Exactly. So let me turn the heat a little bit. Slow. Look, this delicious. So that's the texture. It yes. helps you. Right. That's right, Joanne. Okay, with that. So we want to add one more over here. Let's train it. If you want, we have the milk. Okay. You have the milk. Is That's that regular? Milk. Is that regular milk? It's a regular meal, but okay. if you want to add almond meal, you can do it. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, fancy milk. Yeah. So if it's someone, no, I can't drink a regular meal, you know, I am tolerance to the lactose. Come on, you can use almond milk. So I give you option, guys. Okay. Don't worry. What do I always think in everything? Look at this sauce. Oh my God. Look at this. I'm going to add a little more. Okay. The, the flowers over here. Sure. Hey, you guys, if you're just scrolling through, please give us a follow. And also share the live. Five people have joined through shares. Let's see if we can uh, get 15 or 20 people. Let's go. Let's go share the live, guys. And we thank you for all you, for, uh, for your support. We are grateful you stay with us. And you can you can see Rx uh, cook here every single Thursday. She's here every Thursday, uh, except for last week. Last week, uh, uh, she actually was it last week or week before last that you were on vacation. No, you even cooked when you were on vacation. Well, well, the last week I was busy at uh, work, so I worked almost eighteen hours. So my apology for that, because, you know, that things happen. That's happened sure. when I work with someone else. So uh, for you guys, she is, what is her channel's name? Her channel's name is Guadua Cooks. And you can, if you go to the link in bio at Bootalk TV here, you can go all the way down and find a link to her TikTok. As a matter of fact, 
Go ahead and follow. Please follow Food Talk TV. You can find her every single every single Thursday. Uh, tomorrow we'll have uh, the sketchy chef on. She comes on at four o'clock central on Fridays. And then we have Just Like Granny. Granny is in the comments. So if you can see Just Like Granny, click on her, follow her. She cooks all the time on her channel as well. Sherry Skinner is right there in the comments. And she cooks, well, this week she's cooked like four times on live. Uh, mostly on her channel, but uh, she's been like a machine lately. Go okay. ahead. Okay, Kat. So now I want to add salt. Black pepper. Okay. And garlic powder. Okay. Okay. Guys, if, if you want more garlic, if you want more black pepper, like spicy or crushed pepper, you can add. So, is your taste, no? Okay. So, that's going to, the sauce, look at the texture. I was just going to say, can you bring it over? Okay. Look at the texture. Yes. So now I want to add the cheese. Yes, a little bit, okay? Uh, we start stirring, stirring, stirring. And that, that's cheddar cheese, right? Yes, that's a cheddar cheese. That's cheddar cheese. No, it's better the Gouda cheese. The Gouda cheese is better. Uh, uh, yeah. Gouda cheese, Gouda cheese also is that it gives you that cheese pull too. It's yeah. very, very soft cheese. Exactly. So it's yes. better with a Gouda cheese, but uh, in um, the moment I don't have Gouda cheese, so you can do with the cheddar cheese, guys. So don't worry about it. I press it in the oven 350 degrees, okay? Okay. So, oh my so, God. You guys, please give us a follow. Uh, also, you can follow us on our other accounts too. Thank you, October Dragonfly, for the gift. Thank you, Christine. Christine, I have a surprise for you, honey. Oh, that's right. Hang, hang in there, Christine. She's got, uh, she's got a surprise for you. Yes. Hello, Frank. Thank you for liking the live. We've got we've had five people join through shares. Let's see if we can get that number up, guys, and tap the screen. We've got six thousand likes so far. We want as many people to see RX cook as possible. Look, I the this cheese. I want to leave the over there because I want to need the rest for uh, for gratin the the potatoes later okay okay look so you set that, some of the cheese aside look the texture oh yes that's the yeah. perfect texture for the cheese mm. oh that's my right. God. tastes really good really good so now i want to throw off the I want to add in my potatoes, lose this, this appetizer you can use for, for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming. So you have an option right. with this one. So what she did, guys, was she cut the, she sliced or she thinly sliced the potatoes and then she sliced an onion and she put a piece of onion between each potato. All the way down the line. Look at this one. Oh my God. Now she's putting this cheese sauce on top. Oh, and this is casserole week, guys. Yeah, this so is casserole time. Every, every single day on uh, Food Talk TV this week, you're watching the most awesome casseroles. Uh, yesterday was Bama, and she did two in a row. Two casseroles in the same line. Look at this one. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. That's a beautiful soul. You know, guys, you can add some parsley. 
let me chop some parsley because I want a, a good flavor. And let me clean the knife. So we have new people here. Let me go ahead and tell everybody about uh, Food Talk TV. Uh, first of all, follow us. Uh, just hit the little uh, hit the little icon up above. Hit follow, and then hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when we go live. Quite often, we've been going live twice a day, but we go live every single day of the week. Every single day of the week, uh, and normally it's the same per person uh, on the same day. So. Like today is Thursday, it's every Thursday. You'll be watching RX Wong. Her personal channel is Quadua Cooks. If you go to, <laughs> there you go. If you go to our website, foodtalktv.com, you can find out more about her and all of our creators. Okay, guys, look at this baby. It's beautiful. Yes. Okay, so now I want to use foil. Put the foil. Uh -huh. I want to leave in the oven for 25 minutes. Okay. I but, and you're going to ask me, guys, why I use yucum potatoes. I use yucum potatoes because the yucum potatoes is going to cook easy. Easy okay. cooking. So, I want to let over there. Woo. Woo. Okay, so what's next? Okay, the next. I have a surprise for you guys. I know what do is always crazy, but I want to do... Ah, uh, my rice. But okay, all right. Uh, Joanne. Blue color, okay? Uh, I want to okay. use water, uh, butterfly, pea flowers. Remember, uh, Christine? I want to use a little more, a little bit over here. Okay, uh, for those who, who missed it, she preheated her oven to 350 degrees. And she is using, right now, butterfly pea flour. Yeah, butterfly pea water. Because Because she's using it to make her, she's going to color her rice. Yes, I want to, my rice, I want to take blue color. So I use the butterfly. Egg. You guys, thank you for viewing today. Please give us a follow. Rx is here every Thursday. Now that's uh, butterfly pea, pea flower. You can get that on Amazon. Woo! Look at the color. Look at the colors change. Look at the color, sweetie. So and since uh, since Rx has been using this, uh, actually, uh, October Dragonfly on her lives has been making cocktails out of this. Yes. So now I want to make my rice. I put two and a half cups over here. I want to use Now that's just regular rice, right? Yeah, it's a regular rice. Okay. It's a regular uh, rice, guys. Okay. I want to add salt. Yes, a little bit because I don't like too much salty things. I want to move over right here. A vegetal oil, just two spoons, the vegetal oil. And right. let's go make it the rice and the rice maker. So cook, ready. <laughs> so cook. <laughs> cook, ready. So what is the another thing? We want to make, you know, sal I love tabule salad. Yes, tabule. You like tabule salad? Yes. So we want to make a tabula salad too. So guys, take a note that everything I want to give to you. Okay? Okay. So, uh, Mary, Mary Ellen, it does not change the taste of the rice. As a matter of fact, it only adds color. It only adds color. So I want to use bulgur rice. It's like a quinoa, 
but uh, is this bulgur we use in Middle East recipes? Recipes, okay? So recipe. recipe. I wanna put it here. Yes, you know, just a little bit because they when I am put a hot water, they wanna grow, okay? So I just two spoon. I don't wanna do too much tabule uh, sala because I am doing only for you guys or you can prepare right so right so right. i want to put it here for 10 minutes i want to leave them and they're going to so you guys all them. she's going to do is soak the rice in or she's going to soak the bulgur i not rice but she's going to soak the soak the bulgur in hot water for 10 minutes because uh it'll it'll go grow and swell because it's already par cooked. Exactly. You know what I have to do? This is my parsley. Look the color in the, uh, the parsley is so fresh. For all yes. the salad, I wanna use just the leaf. Just no, the leaf, no stem. Just the leaf. I wanna use just the leaf. Okay, let me uh, welcome everybody to Food Talk TV again. You guys, thank you very much. You're watching Food Talk TV. Please follow us on all of our other uh, other platforms. We have Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, we have Twitter account. Um, and we have Twitch. Give us a follow on all of our on all of our platforms. Also, we go live every single day. Hey, slow ride barbecue. Uh, we go live every single day, and lately we've been going live twice a day. We are uh, we're we're getting more and more cooks, and we're getting more and more applications, and we're taking them all. But we have to take them in. We have to uh, take it slow because we're trying to build up a build up in a very organized manner. Uh, eventually, it's going to be all Food Talk TV, all on TikTok. So, back to you. Look the leaf over here. Yes. So that's the parsley. Look these ones. Okay. I think it's gonna be right for this one. Okay. Okay. So I wanna chop the parsley. Remember, they have the the leaf it have to be thick, okay? Think. So it's no hard when uh, the the parsley is fresh. When so, it's fresh, it's very crisp. So yeah. very crisp and easy easy to cut. Uh, exactly. So are you Ashton says it's gonna be more, more uh, you know, it, it's gonna be more flavor. Yes. Ashton says that she's never made it with curly leaf parsley before, and she wonders how it's different from flat leaf. I think it's I think it's just more flavorful. Yeah, it's more flavorful. Yeah. Oh well, we have a different parsley. You know, we have the Romanian parsley, the Italian parsley. So it's gonna be different. Is uh, the flavor? One is a strong, and another one is no is no strong. Also, uh, a lot of times people will use the yes, that's parsley. Uh, a lot of times people will use the stems. Uh, the stems of the uh, of flat leaf parsley is much too strong. They're much too strong. They, it'll overpower whatever you're putting it in. So, Lucas, have to be thin. Okay? Very thin, yes. Yeah. Very. Hi. There's Ashby cooking in the house. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. How are you, my baby? So, you, you guys, we have 13 people who have joined through shares. Share the live. Let's get people in here. We have all the crew in the Food Talk TV right now. <laughs> yes, okay. they are. So, look. I want to leave the over there. I want to use me. I want to use me. 
if you don't find me, you can use yerba buena. Okay, I, I'm not sure what is that? Mint, but you can use yerba buena. Okay. Yerba buena is the different flavor with the mint. That means gotcha. uh, the yerba buena, it have a more flavor than mint. It's more strong. Right. So you can buy, if you don't find in the supermarket, you can go to the Hispanic supermarket. You can find the yerba buena. Hey, Mikey. So I want to separate the leaf too because I only need is the leaf. Gotcha. Um, you know, the leaf is going to, when you eat this salad, it's going to be healthy. Uh, you have a blood pressure, some, uh, you have a DST problem. You can eat this salad because it's really good for you. You have too much fiber. Um, the bulgur help you have a very uh, easy digestive in your stomach. Yeah. Yes. You, you guys, she's got the uh, the bulgur wheat off to the side, soaking in uh, in hot water. Uh, she won't need to cook it. Uh, it'll it, it's already parboiled, so it'll already it'll just cook the way it is. Okay, so I gonna. I'm going to chop the same thing like the parsley, okay? Have so you can slice that. it very, very thin. So we have to chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Chop it. I have to be careful because that uh, the sharp of the knife is... Ugh. <laughs> so I don't want to cook my finger. Cut my finger. My finger. Ashton is giving lots and lots of uh, information about mint in the comments. We appreciate that. And you guys, please give us a follow. Let's help it and share the live. Let's build our build our numbers back up and get us back on the FYP. Okay, look at this. Also. Uh, Food Talk TV is we. I think we have eleven cooks now, and we're building up. We need to get a lot more. So if you know some, oh, that's beautiful. If you know someone who has got a lot of personality and is suit suitable for one of our time slots, please tell them to apply. If you're out there and you're watching, uh, just go to the comments section, or not go to the comments. Go to the uh, link in the bio. And there'll be a place to submit a video so okay, that yes. we can see what you're doing. Okay. So now I'm you need the meat with the parsley. Okay. I'm okay. gonna leave over there. I wanna chop some white onions. The city girls kitchen, I see you. So I want to chop the white onions. Oh. I'm a starving, Cass. You guys are <laughs> starving. <laughs> okay, so you've got parsley, mint, white onions so far. Yes. Hi, Deanna. Thank you for coming in. If you want... You can add cucumber. If you don't have Italian cucumber, you can use the regular one. Okay. So I want to peel the cucumber. Look at this one. I want to take the seed too, okay? The cucumber because I don't want the salad watering oh you, hey. no i don't want that right. i use it yes did you know because i haven't talked to you did you know that we have a new show coming on uh food talk tv no tell me about it please tell me it's it's, it's a throwdown show oh 
Ooh, tell me. Against Sketchy Chef. Is Sketchy Chef we? <laughs> and she she is looking for people. She's looking for people who want to cook. Uh, uh, who want to cook against her? Okay, that sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds very interesting to you, doesn't it? Yes, that sounds interesting. So, uh, so we're getting the show together, and we're getting the details. We're looking for people who are inside and outside of Food Talk TV. You'll cook side by side, like on a do, like on like on a duel, but you'll both be able to see the comments, uh, and everyone will be able to vote at food t foodtalktv.com. Uh, yes, that's right. That's right. Uh, Madi, Madi says I'll cook with her, not against her, and that's awesome. <laughs> I love throwdowns. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I am chopped uh, some cucumber. I'm taking out the seed, so I want to mix it over here. If you want, if you want, you can add tomatoes, too. So I want to use romaine tomato. Okay. We have to take it out the seed, too. Okay, I want to take it out the seed. I want to take it out. Look at right here. Two, two. Okay. Hey, TikTok cowboy. Hi, how are you? Okay, guys, let's go share the share the the live tap tap to the screen, guys. And follow Food Talk TV. Uh, follow up the yes. Follow. Okay, so so you're using just the flesh of the tomatoes on this one, right? Yes, I want to use tomato. Yes, I you're not trying to get. You're not trying to get a mushy. You just you just want the uh, exactly. The That's the idea. That's the idea. So look at one. I want to chop the uh, uh, the tomatoes. And you guys tap the screen. Share the live, please. Nineteen people have joined through through lives or through shares. Okay, so I'm gonna chop right here. Look at this one. Oh my god, that's amazing! That's gonna be amazing. So, I want to use lima juice, lima juice, lemon juice. So, I'm gonna use three of them. Okay. So are you going to use the juice from all of those? Yes, sir. And okay. what you... I want to use the user. Uh, a user is asking whether you are Egyptian. Would I use what? They're asking what your nationality is. They're asking if you're Egyptian. Oh no, I am not Egyptian. Uh, my mom is you. <laughs> he's is he's come from Israel. Okay. My grandparents come from Israel, but my mom born in Ecuador, South America. But uh, we are the same. So we, uh, um, uh, actually, our gastronomy is the same to the in in the Middle East. You no. Know? Okay. Yeah, it's the same. Just the different uh, spices, you know, that's the, that's the, that's the thing change. Rx, could you introduce yourself in Spanish for me? Oh, claro, como no. Mi nombre es Aurix Wong. Eh, mi nickname, o oh, mi, o oh, um, oh, mi apodo, me dicen Wadua Cooks. So, nací en Ecuador, tengo 40 años, soltera, <ríe> soltera, so, estoy aquí en Food Talk TV con esta hermosa audiencia y maravilloso, y maravillosa familia, como es Cass, Ashton, Ashley, Tricia, eh, Sherry, Bradley, Fran, Tukas, 
and Mauritius, Christine. So, esa soy yo. So, ahora, okay. now, Good. we're going to add Good. the bulgur. Look at the bulgur. Yeah, it's perfect. And all I did was sit. Yes. All I did was sit in the water. Yes. It's so fluffy, very, done, very light. Yes. So, look, I just add two spoon of them. And look at that. Things. They grow up a lot. So, yes. I'm going to add over here. And the salad. Mixing, tun tun. Look at this! Oh, oh my God! You know this okay. salad is so fresh, so I like it. So you can, you know, make some. Uh, you can. Uh, this is a perfect uh, plate. So for Thanksgiving, Christmas. So I am at salt over him and olive oil. Okay, guys? Yes. So look at the olive oil over here. Wow. That olive is a tabouli salad. Tasty. If you want more test, uh, tasty, you can add, um, what is that thing? So truffle oil. Okay. But I don't think so. So I just think you want more fancy, you know, try the truffle oil, uh, uh, oil because now everyone wants truffle things. No, you have to be careful because the truffle oil, uh, oil is strong. So for me, it's better the oil, oil, the olive oil. So it's better. And the meat with the parsley is going to be, give to you a sublime flavor. Okay. Okay, okay now. This is our tabula sala. That is beautiful. Uh, you know what? Hold it up one more time and tell us everything that you put in it, okay? Okay. I am chop, um, I am separate the leaves, the parsley, um, mint, I'm at a white onions, um, cucumber, um, tomato, and um, lima use, salt, um, olive oil. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and bulgur and bulgur wheat. Yes. And the bulgur wheat. Yes. Yes. So now, Cass, I wanna make some some strange, you know me. I wanna do my um my protein. Okay. I wanna use a chicken breast. I want to make a takis milanesa, chicken takis milanesa. You know that? Yes. Yeah, the takis yeah. milanesa. So I want to use the chicken. So that's working really good for me. You guys, so, uh, thank, thank yes. you for watching today. Please share the live and tap the screen. We want as many people to we want as many people to see RX Cook as possible and follow Food Talk TV. So okay, I want to sesame my chicken with garlic sauce. My garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. Oh my garlic paste. Mustard. And complete sesame. So. Sazon? Yeah, sazon. 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 Oh. And then salt. <laughs> I have no accent. <laughs> I barely I barely speak uh, English, so. Yeah, but uh, you know, you're, you sounds like, a, ooh, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, let's put a guitar massage. The chicken is a stress, so I'm going to give to them a massage. Yeah, yeah, it's had a long day. <laughs> it's a long day, so chicken, don't worry. You're going to feed in my stomach to, uh, tonight. <laughs> you can, it, it's going to have a nice, cuddly place to stay. Exactly. Okay. So, okay, guys, I'm going to make my... Um, 
I want to use the tackies. So I don't want to use the bread uh, crumb. I want to use the tackies. Okay. So let me leave this one over there. Okay, let's do it. I want to use my, my new ninja. That's my gift for Christmas. Wait, wait, which Christmas? Coming Christmas? It's, yes. That's okay. gift was for Christmas, but uh, you know, I am buying it for myself, so. That's my um, hey, baby. Finally, look at all the blades in that thing. That looks like a, something you would see in a scary movie. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, but it's really good, huh? Uh, yeah, That's I think it's not. Really it's not gonna miss nothing. Yes. So look, this baby is for first time. I wanna use it. So I use Good Talk TV today. No more the little one because the little one or the little one. Okay, we want to blend it. The power. I'm okay, there's a lot of power <laughs> going on I in love there. It, you know, they have a I lot know it. Jeez, I know it. Those only corn chips. But wow. <laughs> so you know ninja ninja um, brown you have to pay to us because oh, it, i wish it's in brown <laughs> <laughs> they have to pay us what do you think us yeah i think so yeah, uh, the they have to pay us. <laughs> dan says it looks like a category five inside that ninja <laughs> oh Oh, hurricane. Hey, by the way, let me ask you, you uh, weren't, weren't you just in a hurricane? Yes. I mean, uh, just a couple of days ago, right? Uh, Nicole, Hurricane Nicole, did it hit, hit Miami? No. Oh, it didn't. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, guys, hold on. I'm two, two months ago, it was a hurricane here in here. So, please. But no I, just, I, thought, they, I thought that in the news it was just a couple of days ago. No, the news sometimes is, uh, is overreacted and the people oh, is okay. scary, it's scary, you know. But uh, gotcha. no, thanks to God, nothing has happened. Um, and this day, we was a lot of rain. Yes, a lot of rain, of course. But, uh, but uh, no more than this. Okay, so was that just one egg? No, two eggs and the milanesa. This is gonna be for the milanesa. Okay. I'm gonna add just a little bit mustard. I love mustard. Okay. Mustard gives too much flavor, you know. So look at these ones. I love it. So let me put this one over here. Ooh, I have a lot of things right now. I tell you, my, my kitchen is it's little, it's tiny. So look at this one. I'm going to use my tackies over here. All right. Yes. Over here. No. Look at this one. Okay, into the milk first. Yeah, into the eggs first. <laughs> you're just, you're <laughs> not just putting that down. You're going to pat those uh, Takis into it so they don't come off, right? Yes, exactly, sir. I want some spicy today in my, in my food. So, look at this one. Oh, yeah. If you don't like too much spicy, so you can add some uh, 
panko. Eh, the yeah. panko is gonna be the spicy slow, you know, not too much right. spicy. So you can add panko. The panko is gonna be help you. Okay. So look at this one. Oh, sketchy chef is in the house. Hola, word up, sketchy. Hello, sketchy. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna clean it over here. Okay, guys, give me a second because I have to clean this mess over here. That's happening nope. on live, okay, guys? The, the, this is the real story. So we make a good videos, you know, everything look good, but uh, you know, that's it. That's the truth. You guys, thank you for following Food Talk TV. If you're following, if you're not following, please, uh, Please follow us and get, hit the bell so that you're notified every single time we go live. We go live daily, every day. Sometimes we go live twice a day. This week, we've had a lot of uh, uh, two-a-days. And we're coming up on holiday season. Let everybody know about Food Talk TV so that uh, you can see these great holiday recipes that we're going to be coming up with. We may be live three times a day during the holiday season. Okay, Kat, so now we want to make the or milanesa. Okay. We're going to add five spoons uh, the the oil. And can then we bring gonna... the camera closer? Can, no, can we bring the camera closer so oh, you don't course, have to keep moving, moving the pan? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We have to be careful because I don't want to go out to the light. Huh. Awesome. Yes. Let's don't go out. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Hello <laughs> there. <laughs> Hello. So we want to flip the camera. So let's go. Okay. So I put the heat. Yeah, that's oh. that's gotta warm up a little bit, right? Yes. Okay. So look or takis. That's and gonna that, be the taki coated chicken. Yes. Milanese chicken milanesa with takis. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I have the other surprise too, remember? Oh okay. Yeah. So we wanna finish over here, you know, we have to uh I want to fry my milanesa, but uh, I need the oil, you know, term. I want to heat the oil. So tell me, Kaz. Tell you about Food Talk TV? Yes, of I'm, course. I'm happy. I'm happy to tell you about Food Talk TV. Food Please. Talk TV is a group of cooks. We've got 11 cooks so far. Um, and we're looking for more. So if you know someone or if you're watching right now and you would like to audition for us, all you need to have is a great personality. Uh, you need to be a, a, um, a team player and you need a thousand followers because we need you to be able to go live on your own channel. Did you put your finger in there? Of course. I did it. That's, that's crazy. No, it's not crazy. When you're a chef, you know, you support <laughs> a lot of pain. So it's, it's nothing for me. But I don't try it in your home if you're no. <laughs> yes, don't if, try it at home, guys. If you know, <laughs> if you're... <laughs> you have to be careful, guys. Don't do not do it. <laughs> so, don't do uh... things. <laughs> So please follow us on our other platforms. Uh, we've got Facebook. We have Instagram. We've got Twitter. We have Twitch. We've got Pinterest. Our stuff is going crazy on Twitch, uh, on Pinterest right now. So uh, please give us a follow on all those platforms. And definitely, definitely, definitely visit Food Talk TV. We also have Cooking Club. Uh, that's every... Oh, number shut up. Yeah. Um, we also have Cooking Club, which is every Wednesday night. 
And that's not on TikTok. That's on Zoom, where you get to cook cook live and uh, and have fun with the other cooks on Food Talk TV. Okay, I think one a little bit, guys. One a little bit. Ooh, number. Which, hi, how are you, my friend? A long time and don't see you, brother. Brother, hey, the other mother. <laughs> He's our friend in the beginning. You remember, uh, Cass? All yes. the barbecue, all the barbecue, you know, membership. Wow. That a long time ago, this was crazy. Yes. They talked, uh, yeah, just teaching us about the barbecue. Oh, I learned a lot of things about them. Yes. And Carlos in particular, he's a great guy. Yeah, Carlos. Oh, Blessing is Star too. Look at this one, baby. Oh, my God. Okay. Lose this baby. So, I love it. Okay. So, Rx comes on every Thursday. Every single Thursday. There she is. There's that pretty face. And uh, she cooks for us sometimes in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon or the evening, depending on her job. But uh, Thursdays is Rx's day. Yes, it's dependent on my job, guys. You know, it's not on me. Uh, next week. I'm going to win the, the Powerball. I am never buying the Powerball, so I am always say the, the same thing. <laughs> next week, uh, next week, Ashton will be doing double duty. She normally cooks on Saturdays, but she'll also be cooking next Thursday or next Tuesday as well. You know, Cass? Yes. You know this baby? Ooh, are you going to break that down for us? Yeah, it's going to be something, you know. What are you going to do with that? Cass? It's a surprise for our followers. You remember, okay. a lot, um, a lot of the, our followers is asking me about the is I can make a coco piña colada, coconut piña colada. Yes. Yes, they asking me about it. So okay, I'm gonna make the coconut piña colada. But I, I want to do in the correct way, okay? I don't want to use okay. mixer, no. I want to use the real flavor, the pineapple flavor, okay? So I want to go over here. Look. Okay. So I want to go in four parts. Yeah, Chef Winky. Yes, we did. And I saw that you joined at 540 yesterday. And uh, the uh, invite uh, updated at at uh, just about the exact same time. Go back into the cooking club and uh, check your email. We were looking for you yesterday. So, you know, I want to peel the piña colada. I want to take it out this one, you know, this one is the root, so it's going to be a yield flavor, so I want to take it out. So I want to use that part right here so I can make my garnish. You are so extra. Nobody makes a pina colada for, with using a real pineapple. You're so extra. Yes. <laughs> she says yes yes i'm yeah. extra <laughs> so, you know the thing is is that everyone buy the the mixers but the mixers is too much sweet so i don't like the flavor when i'm using music so i am prefer use the original flavor you know the natural flavor i'm sorry the natural flavor so right I want to use that one for my garnish, okay? Okay. So, 
I want to put over here, you know. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let me take care of them. Cleaning. So, over here. I love it. Okay, let me check my, my pollito. Have to be careful. Okay, Cass. I want to use, again, the blender. Okay. Hi, Mel Cappy. Hello, Boozy Floozy. Thank you for, for the likes. And guys, please share the live. We've had 30 people join uh, through, through shares. Let's see if we can get that to up to 45. Okay, I want to use this yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dee Dee, that was definitely a pineapple. She uh, she broke it down for us. Okay, here we go. Hey, Dixie Lou. We're going to use soap water. We're going to use soap water. Okay, when I use water. You guys, she is uh, getting ready to make a cocktail. She's making a uh, pina colada and she broke down a real pineapple for us. Okay. Boy, look how thick that is. Yes. It's really strong, this blender. I love it. Yes, Care Bear. If you just click the, uh, right now it's just showing different friends, but if you click it, it'll do the regular share. Okay, here we go. Let me check my, my Milanesa. And you guys, if you missed, she made a, she's got chicken in the pot. Uh, it's a breast. Uh, she sliced it into two fillets. She uh, dipped, she dredged it in egg and then covered it in, and crushed up Takis. So it's very, very pretty. Yes, it's a ninja blender. Okay, guys. Yes, ma'am. We want to use my shaker, okay? We love it when you use your shaker. Yes, we want to use the shaker. So here we go. Okay, okay. I want to know about the <laughs> banner of life. So, okay. I want to use rum coconut. Okay. I want to use some rum Bacardi. Some Bacardi. 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 Bacardi rum. Hey, cha-cha. Okay. okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Deanna says, ooh, here we go. Food Talk TV after dark. So, okay. Let's gonna use pineapple use. Just a little more. I love how thick that is. <laughs> so, okay. Two, um, uh, two and a half ounce Mm. Two and a half ounce. That's my kind of drink. Yes. <laughs> and coconut. Wrong. Ashley, Ashley Turner says she likes the way you say the ingredients better than I do. <laughs> I'm going to use one ounce coconut That's cream. Coconut cream, okay. Yes, coconut cream. So let's go, we wanna add ice. 
There's a question here for you, Arix. Okay. It says, if I don't have a fresh pineapple, how do you think pine canned pineapple would be? Sorry, what? If they don't have a fresh pineapple like you just did, how do you think that canned pineapple would work? No, they don't have flavor. There you go. So I want to use my hurricane glass, you know. I want to add ice, the hurricane glass. I'm sorry for doing with the with the hands, but we don't have too much time, mm -hmm. guys. So let me think about it. Oh yeah. Okay, so just to be clear, guys, you can use different uh, different ingredients. It's just not going to make the great drink that she's going to make. Yes. Hello, Dixie Lou. Thanks for coming in. So now, hey, Google, play Titi. Me pregunto si tenía una novia. Okay, that's going to shake him. They're going to shake it. Woo! Ladies! Okay, ladies, are you ready? <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. It's Thursday. There she goes. There it's she Thursday, goes. It's Thursday, ladies night. Woo! <laughs> I'm crazy, guess. Okay. Christine says she's ready. Julie the Virgo says yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Okay. So when I use my streaming over here, you can see, guys. Yes, yes, a little bit. You know, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Hey, David. Here we go. That's the old-fashioned piña colada, guys. In a nice big old hurricane glass. Yes. So we can add for the garnish. Hmm. Hmm. Let me check a little bit, you know, more, more fancy. Ooh, look at that. You know, guys, so it's... Remember, like, you in the Bahamas in your house, you know, so and that kind of stuff. <laughs> if you want, you can add whipped cream, if you want. Okay. If you want to add whipped cream, you can add, okay? Doesn't matter. And, or cherry. I like the cherry have a little colita over there, so it's like, a, you know. Yeah. It's for, you know. All recipe says beautiful garnish. Look at the piña colada, guys. It is beautiful. That's the piña colada. Okay, now, Cass, we want to check our, um, our potato. Yes, we've got... Uh, Potatoes and a uh, cheese sauce coming out of the oven. Yes, sure. We want to add the potato. Woo! Let's go. You can see the potatoes, guys. Look at me. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's go. Now she took, you took you can roll potatoes. She sliced oh them thinly. Goodness. Look at this beautiful thing. She sliced them thinly, and between each potato, she put a slice of onion as well. Then she made a cheese sauce, uh, very close to a bechamel sauce, but not as not as much flour, with cheddar cheese, and she poured it all over everything. So, okay, guys, I want to yes. chop some cheese over here. Woo, okay. Woo, woo. Okay, some cheese over here. So you can use it right there, the cheese. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Where is the cheese? Where is the cheese? Okay. Guys, that's kitchen. This kitchen is crazy right now. Yes, it is. So, look at this. Okay, and that, that's the rest of the cheddar cheese, correct? Yes, I want a gratin. Gra gratin, gratin, gratin. Lo voy a gratinar. Lo voy a gratinar en español. <laughs> Uh, no, that's the way you say it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And bacon. Oh, no. Yes, there yes, you go. Yes, sir. Bacon. <laughs> I want a more flavors over here. Let's go make bacon. Okay. We got to have, we have to have a top-down view of that. <laughs> Okay, let me put the broil. I want a broil. That's right, all recipes. Everything is better with bacon. Okay, I want a broil. You have to be careful when you want a broil, okay? Because sometimes they can burn or something like that. So, I want a so you guys... Uh uh, I'm sorry. I just need to introduce Food Talk TV. Thank you guys for coming for, to foodtalktv.com. Uh, Food Talk TV. We have a website. It's foodtalktv.com. We have about 11 creators so far, and we're looking for more creators. We go live every single day of the week. Uh, this last week, we've been going live twice a day sometimes. Uh, and a lot of our creators are in, are in the comments right now. We are on all, all platforms, uh, Words with Friends, uh, Waze, uh, Instagram. Uh, I don't know. There's probably a Sudoku someplace out there. Uh, uh, we have uh, Pinterest, YouTube, and Facebook. Let's so. go plate. Oh, now we're plating. Okay, guys. The, is this going to be the blue rice? Yeah, this is going to be the blue, uh, the blue rice. The blue rice. There we go. And you guys remember, she colored this rice blue by using uh, butterfly pea uh, blossoms. Yes, sir. And now she's got some red chicken. Yes, sir. The, chi the chicken was uh, was actually dredged in uh, Takis. Yes, with Takis. Over here. Because this is a have a huequito aquí, so no quiero que se vea tan feo ese huequito. Vamos a taparlo. Let's go to over here. Do, do, do. Let me check my... You guys, Rx cooks every single Thursday for Food Talk TV. Uh, tomorrow will be Tricia San Miguel, and she cooks for um, uh, she cooks at on Fridays at four o'clock Central. On Saturday, we will have just like Granny. Okay, there's the um, the bulgur the tabbouleh salad going down and she's got uh, bulgur wheat in there along with mint and uh, uh, flat leaf or is it flat leaf? No, it's curly parsley uh, tomatoes and white onion Okay, now our potato green cheese is ready Here we go Okay. Woo. Woo. Have to be careful. And, and you just threw that back in there to melt the cheese again, right? Oh, yes. Okay. So here we go, honey. Oh, this kitchen is crazy. I don't like it. So I want to show you guys everything, okay? Okay. So Hi again. <laughs> okay, let's go flip the camera. This is me Milanesa with Takis. Look the color of my ride. Right. 
So, Tabule Sala, and look at this one. And this is the star. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. This has been Casserole Week on Food Talk TV, guys. Every single day, all the way through, uh, through Sunday, we're making the best casseroles. Ooh. Let's see if we can get to 30,000 likes, guys. 44 people have joined through shares. Please share the live, guys. Bring as many people in here as possible. Also, there's the pina colada made with fresh fruit. Fresh yeah. fruit. She, yes, she broke fresh. down that pineapple for us. So look at this one, guys. Oh, my God. I can't amazing i like it so thank you Jones. mama yeah she says you're a rock star so look at this one so guys please give us a follow please give us a follow so that you'll be notified every single time that we go live and every single time that rx goes live look what she did for us today yeah, so guys, ooh, cooking, <laughs> cook is not easy, but if you have a passion, you have a love, you can do everything. So guys, this is the, those are my dishes. So I hope like guys, you, you like my recipes. So um, thank you so much for being there. I have 51 people over here pay attention in the beginning. Thank you. That's mean a lot for me. Thank you so much. I want to do every hour when I came to life. So different, you know, cocktails, a whiskey, you know, just let me know what kind the, the, what kind the cocktail or drink do you want? So this cocktail is for my follower mariana thank you so much and, and mariana this is for you you asking me hey you can make a a coco piña colada so that it does the the real piña colada that's a, uh, was come from the puerto rico so thank you and the next time i want to make something with coquito so i'm sorry moises god chef but the coquito is spicy pumpkin, I'm going to make myself. So I just let you know. I just let you know. So, <laughs> I just let you know. <laughs> so I want to make a coquito. So Moises, I want to call you um, um, inside so you can help me just a little bit for the measures. So because I can do my coquito, but uh, you are Puerto Rican, so I want a real Puerto Rican uh, give me the advice about the coquito, okay? So I just want to uh, uh, add something more, So, but I need your help, please. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I appreciate everyone. Oh, thank you for the gifts. They are like pretty. Thank you. So, you know. This is Food Talk TV. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cass. Thank you for being there. All the thank crew, you for uh, all the crew, the Food Talk TV, thank you. Thank you, Mouse, Tricia, Bama, thank you, Ashton, Christine, um, Frank, Bradley, uh, who, who is with more? Andrea. Oh, no, but Andrea knows we're here, but. Don't worry, Andrea, I love you, you, you too. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. I want to say in Spanish, se los quiere mucho de aquí al cielo y vuelta parado de mano. Este es Guadua Cucho. Bye.